Ghana's highway gang targeting truck drivers. We need to raise customs five trillion naira revenue target. Under foreign scene, authorities confirm death of baby in Russian strike on Kharkiv Hotel. In sport, Cameroon Football Federation rejects president's resignation after after team's 2-0 defeat to Super Egos at AFCON 2023 round of 16. Now, the details. I am Taiwo Barua. Operatives of the Lagos State Task Force have apprehended 51 notorious members of a highway gang known for harassing truck drivers along the Apapao Shudi and Lagos Badagri Expressway. Chairman of the agency, Shola Jejeloyi, who led the operation, expressed disgust at the manner in which these set of miscreants wreck unnecessary havoc on the highways in the name of parks and garages, despite the official pronouncement on the ban on the activities of the agency last year. Jedele revealed that the 51 apprehended suspects have been charged to court, where eight out of them pleaded guilty and were sentenced to seven months imprisonment with an option of 65,000 naira fine. He said the remaining 43 pleaded not guilty and their hearing has been adjourned to 1st of March 2024. Jedele issued a stern warning to others engaged in acts of impersonation and extortion, urging them to deceive all risk of being prosecuted, adding that the Lagos State Government remains committed to ensuring the safety and efficiency of transportation networks within the state as enshrined in the Themes Plus agenda of the present administration. To avoid the depletion of groundwater resources and for effective water governance, management and regulations, the Lagos State Government has organized a stakeholders engagement to protect the sector. The forum was put together by the Ministry of Environment and Water Resources and Lagos State Water Regulatory Commission, LASWACO. Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tokumba Wahab, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary, Office of Water Resources and Drainage Services, Mahmoud Adegbite, called on stakeholders to collaborate with the state to manage groundwater resources, harping on the need to start using data to deal with issues. The very first thing to understand the fact that we all need to treat groundwater as a rare resource. Since such an important resource for the state, it's such an important resource for the state that we need to make sure that we manage it in a sustainable manner. Executive Secretary of Las Waco, Funkia Adepoju, noted that the move was necessary to ensure regulations are adhered to and enforcement will be strengthened to allow total compliance by all stakeholders to safeguard the environment. Paul speaking on the socio-economic impact of unregulated groundwater abstraction in a sedimentary terrain, a case of Lagos State, a professor from the University of Agriculture, Belkuta, Olufemido, who describes the engagement as an opportunity to take informed decision and a trajectory to promote sustainable development. According to him, if groundwater is not regulated with increasing population over exploitation, water quantity will diminish. The commission has to put a lot of things in place in order to ensure that the guidelines are effective. It's not enough really to put guidelines in place, but we must, must be ensured that they are effective so as to meet the purpose for which they were put in place. And one of the ways is the kind of forum that they have been organized. And then the need to make the people understand that this for their own benefit. The events had in attendance representatives from the academia, regulators, private sector, civil society organizations, United Nations Global Impact, among others. The Lagos State Government, in conjunction with LASACO Assurance PLC and Consortium of 
underwriters, Belkis, has disbursed over 398 billion naira as insurance benefits to 136 beneficiaries of 85 deceased public servants who died in active service of the state government. Speaking at the presentation of checks to the beneficiaries, the chairman, House Committee on Finance, Lagos State House of Assembly, Femi Sahid, stated that the payment of insurance benefit to families of deceased staff is approved that the administration of Governor Babajide Somulu holds the welfare of eight vibrant workers in high esteem. Sahid implored the beneficiaries to see the payment as a seed which is to be invested wisely. In his remarks, the Commission of Finance, Abayo Miuluyomi, emphasized that Lagos State Government attaches so much importance to the provision of insurance welfare packages for its workforce and also to government properties, which informed the production of the global insurance packages, such as group life, group personnel accident, among others. <laughs> to the rest of the stories. The Senate has elected the Nigeria Customs Service that 5.79 trillion naira revenue target of the agency will be reviewed upwards from the second half of the year to save the country from further borrowings. The Chairman Senate Committee on Customs, Issa Jibrain, stated this at a crucial meeting with the Comptroller General of the Nigeria Customs Service, Adewali Adeni, and top government officials of the Revenue Agency. Jibrin harped on the need for revenue generating agencies to up their game to improve the economy. In his reaction, Comptroller General of the Nigeria Customs Service, Adewali Adeni, said the customs is seeking approval from the government to allow them to grant waivers to owners of smuggled cars so they can regularize their payment of custom duties. The federal government has launched a mobile culinary training kitchen for cooks across the country. Minister of Tourism, Lola Ade John, who launched the National Institute of Hospitality and Tourism mobile training kitchen truck, noted that the project underscores Tinubu's renewed hope agenda and highlights the government's unwavering commitment to fostering growth, empowerment, and culinary excellence within our great nation. The minister said the mobile training kitchen signified the commencement of a series of transformative initiatives within the hospitality sector. Ade John added that the initiative aligned with the vision to leverage the potential of Nigeria's heritage, cultivated skilled professionals who can significantly contribute to the growth of the tourism sector. In foreign news now, officials say a two-month-old boy was killed and his mother wounded when a Russian missile hit a hotel in northeastern Ukraine. Kharkiv Regional Governor Ole Sinabov said the baby's body was pulled out of the rubble of the three-story building in the village of Zoloshiv. Ukrainian forces responded to Russia's bombardment in late December with a deadly attack on the city of Bargorod half an hour's drive from the border. Ukraine's much heralded counter-offensive last summer also delivered few territorial gains and presidential and President Volodymyr Zelensky told journalists this week that he was considering a reset of some leaders of the state. In spot now, the executive committee of the Cameroon Football Federation has rejected the resignation tendered by its president, Samuel Eto's Fields. Eto has been dodged by allegations of improper conduct, match fixing, and corruption. The Federation met to evaluate the inimitable lions outgoing, out in a bigger pattern, at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. The meeting started with Eto's offering to resign from the role and also invited the other members to do likewise in good faith. There was no mention of head coach Rigobert Song's future. Cameroon needed a win in its final group fixture to qualify for the group stage only to be eliminated by Nigeria in the round of 16. 
And that's it on the news at four. But just before we go, stay alive. Make use of pedestrian bridges where available. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X, formerly Twitter, Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Watch us live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Songulu administration constructed 4,000 flats for staff of Lagos State University, Lasu? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Operatives of the Lagos State Task Force have apprehended 51 notorious members of a highway gang known for harassing truck drivers along the Apapao Shudi and Lagos Badagri Expressway. The Senate has elected the Nigeria Customs Service that the 5.79 trillion naira 2024 revenue target of the agency will be reviewed upwards for the second half of the year to save the country from further borrowing. We also told you that officials say a two-month-old boy was killed and his mother wounded when a Russian missile hit a hotel in northeastern Ukraine. And finally, in sports, the executive committee of the Cameroon Football Federation has rejected the resignation tendered by its president, Samuel Eto Fields. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to Lagos Traffic Radio at Lagos State. Dot .gov.ng. Dot that ends the news broadcast compiled by Coyote Mafula Sherry. I am Taiwo Varua. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon.